Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Which Way 101. My name is Jessie. Thank you for joining me. If you are new to my channel, welcome here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Um, if you would like to support this channel, all the links and all that stuff will be down in the description below. Today we are actually going to be talking about Mars. Um, so there's controversy about Mars as to whether or not it is a ruling planet for Scorpio. Some astrologers say it is, some say it isn't. Others say it's for both Aries and Scorpio. That decision I'll leave completely up to you. Um, everybody has their own personal thing and choice about that. Um, Scorpio also happens to be ruled by Pluto too, but some astrologers are now saying that's not a planet. Depends on how you want to look at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, overall, it's your own personal opinion and choice as to whether or not Mars does rule both Aries and Scorpio. Personal choice. Uh, Mars does orbit the sun 687 days, spending about 52.25 days in each sign. Mars is usually associated with confidence, self-assurance, aggression, sexual, sexuality, energy, strength, ambition, and impulsiveness. Now, if you go through some of the other videos, there's a lot of other signs that represent these different things, but Mars is it, literally, it's a planet filled with passion. Um, it's tinted red. It's got the color of red because there's so much iron in its own um, makeup for it. Uh, with the Chinese astrology, fire is the element that represents Mars. And Mars is called Mangala in Indian astrology, representing energy, confidence, and ego which again does go hand in hand with the whole Western astrology with Mars too, which I think is kind of symbolic and funny all at the same time. Uh, and the Roman, they, uh, they believed that Mars was a god of both war and bloodshed. Um, and there are many, many herbs that represent Mars as well. Uh, some of them are the following, all the aloes. There, there's an herb actually called All Heal that represents Mars. It's kind of cool. I thought so. There's belladonna. There's basil. There's black cherry. Cardamom, which I thought was cool. Catnip, chives, garlic, dandelion leaves, ginger, holly, onion, pepper, thyme, and even wormwood. Now the gems that are the gems and crystals that are represented by or can be represented for Mars happen to be pretty much any crystal or gem that is red hued rubies garnets uh sunstones um even citrine if it's a dark enough hue could possibly be used to represent mars um, mars is also associated with tuesday now there there's a lot of different um people who will go ahead and have that same argument about the whole Mars and whether or not it does rule over two different zodiac signs. Um, I personally, being a Scorpio, I might be a little biased. Uh, I do feel that it rules Scorpio to a great degree because every single Scorpio I've ever met is pretty darn passionate. Every Aries that I've ever met is also pretty damn passionate. Like, the, uh, as far as passion is concerned, those two signs, in my opinion, they're head and head. They run neck and neck for passion. Um, and I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not trying to be, you know, oh, that's that's the zodiac sign that does that. But it, from my experience, from my knowledge, that is what it is. Um, I know that I've been trying to keep all my videos short and sweet lately. I'm trying to make sure that all of this information is put into shorter videos so that people actually have time to watch them all um, and to absorb everything that they're being told. I will most likely be going over and redoing a lot of these videos, going into more detail and, and more depth knowledge later on in different videos. Um, as you guys all know, I'm now just starting to get back at filming and posting videos and whatnot. Uh, I still want to go ahead and do my Zodiac things with the whole um, tarot readings and whatnot, and I still plan on doing that. 
Again, I will be doing the full 2021 reading and posting it at the end of this month in December or the beginning of next month in January in the very start of 2020. Um, all of that will be on my channel. I will be doing new playlists for those and for that particular 2020 video. Um, I do plan on starting to do more yearly tarot readings and posting them on here because I think that it would be a good thing for everybody to be able to see that sort of thing. I would love everybody's opinion down in the comments below. I am dying to know what you guys think of these shorter videos. I would love your opinion on the whole tarot reading thing and your thoughts and all that good fun stuff. Um, again, if you want to go ahead and support this channel, my link to my Patreon account will be below. I will also link my other social media accounts. I post a lot in my Facebook group that will be posted in a link below in the description as well. Um, and it's also easier to get a hold of me on my Facebook than it is my YouTube. I tend to spend more time in my Facebook, on my Facebook group and posting stuff and whatnot. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this information. I would love to know any of your inputs as far as what planets or, or what zodiac sign this particular planet does rule. Does it rule just Aries? Does it rule Scorpio? Does it rule both? What is your opinion on this? I would love to know. Please let me know down in your comments below. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so now. Click the like button. Share this with all your friends and family. I hope you all have a great day. Blessed be and bye for now.